Hey guys, welcome back to another video on the Miami Dolphins. First thing I want to say is what a great two, first two days for this franchise. A great draft in my opinion so far. Uh, and we nailed what we needed to nail. Uh, and I'm very happy of what we have done. Second of all, second of all, there's so much I have I can I need to talk about. So I'm going to dedicate three in, uh, three videos that will be out tomorrow to three of the individual players that we just drafted. That way I can just dig into depth and who I think they're going to turn out to be. Because, uh, you know, nothing I like more... Uh, than talking about a Dolphins draft pick, good or bad. So, uh, in the second round, we dr uh, we drafted Xavier Howard, uh, who just it is so refreshing, guys, that this this franchise f drafted somebody who has the talent and he's do in, and fits what we're trying to do s schematically. Um, Xavier Howard is a tall, pr tall physical press corner um, who's athletic uh, and just. To tr try to get offline against this kid. This kid is so strong. Um, again, it's so refreshing that this franchise drafted somebody who has a, a ton of talent and who fits our scheme perfectly. So he's like he just fits what we're trying to do on defense, and that's what you're supposed to do as a crapping franchise. I'm sorry, I hate saying that, but as a, as a franchise, you you get talented players who f what that fit what you're trying to do. Um, and trying to build as a franchise, and he just he does that for for this franchise completely. Uh, and then in the second, the second or the first player we selected in the third round, another talented player who fits what we're trying to do on the offensive side of the ball, and that is Kenyon Drake out of Alabama. I was so happy when we drafted this kid. Again, a talented player who fits what we're trying to do, shifty as can be. I dare you to try to tackle this kid in the open field. Speed. He's got everything. He's got everything. He's a weapon. He's just a pure weapon. Can he be a third down running back is the only question I have for this kid, and can he stay healthy? Because if he can, watch out, because he's going to thrive in this um, and Adam Gase's offense. Um, and then the last pick of the day for the Dolphins was Leonte Carew. I hope I say his name right. Uh, <clears throat> the wide receiver out of Rutgers. All he did was cut, catch touchdown passes. Uh, never, he hardly dropped anything. I think he said he only dropped like two balls uh, in his career at Rutgers. Uh, he's a tall, another tall physical player uh, who can work the slot. He's going to be, I, again, like. Somebody that tall who can run routes like he can, who has strong hands like he can, and can block like this wide receiver can, uh, and just can st straight up red zone target for Ryan Tannehill. Again, a talented player who what f just fits what we're trying to do on offense, and I, I cannot be more happy about this day for the Dolphins. And it was just a great day for our franchise, and it, it's just a huge arrow in the right direction, in my opinion. I absolutely love what we did. Again, we just drafted players who have a lot of talent and fit what we're trying to do as a team, and I'm super excited to see these guys play on game day. And that is going to be it, guys. I am Skagster, Jane 83, and I'll see you guys in the next one. The next one. Another home game against the New York Jets. Hopefully we can beat the Chiefs off of the Jets. Um, they have it terrible. Hopefully Geno Smith is starting, because I would love to just... Vance Joseph's aggressive off defense that just beat some cheeks.